hope that you all have had a fantastic day so far. And it is time to get to work on this Black Canary sketch. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, now I'm seeing an ad here, so I can imagine a fair few of you are as well. So I apologize for that. Um, but I will just get going. So um, I have been needing to work on this Black Canary sketch for a minute now, <laughs> quite a bit longer than a minute. And um, I actually just stopped and pivoted to other things because I was actually having a hard time coming up with what to do. Any idea that I had in my mind just wasn't working and you know it was one of those pieces where it's like okay I've just got to leave it, work on something else and then come back. So now I'm back and it is actually time to get this one done. So um, this is where I'm at so far. I've tried a few different arm positions for her <laughs> with her arm, but I think it's more of a powerful pose if I just have both of her arms down, kind of power-like. So that's what I'm gonna do. Philip is here. Andrew is here. Hello, you got the sun wings. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you like it. Um, that is so awesome of you. Thank you. All right, um, I'm gonna get my little Twitch cheat sheet so that I know everybody's names. Hey Devin, how are you? Jason is here, hi. Okay, uh, let me just get my little Twitch cheat sheet here. So hold please, I am looking for it. Twitch names, here we go. <laughs> okay, I've got everybody. Hey, Jason Mag Mago, I think is how you pronounce your name. <laughs> okay, wait a second. I don't have River Dragon on here. River Dragon, can you tell me your name again? Chris Baracco, hello. <laughs> if you don't wanna tell me your name, that's fine. Hi, Lee. <laughs> you guys are so awesome to make it to this stream today. Thank you so very much. So today's gonna to be a fun one because Black Canary has, oh, it's Mike, that's right. right. Thank you, I'm so sorry for that. Now I have you written down, okay. Perfect, thank you so much. Okay, so she has a little crop jacket and then has kind of basically a one-piece bathing suit that's leather and then she has fishnets. So there's leather and fishnets in one commission. Oh my God. <laughs> but uh, it's just yet another challenge that's gonna be fun to take care of. So right now I'm just working on a random piece of paper. Um, once I get this one um, finished and the sketch is where I'm happy with it, then I'll move it onto an actual piece of cardstock for the commission itself. Oh, for sure, no worries. I totally understand. Thank you for dropping by to say hi. So because of the way that she's turning her back, her torso or like this part of her chest is facing away from us a little bit, meaning that it's gonna be slightly foreshortened. That's why her neck is a little shorter because A, she's looking down and B, her chest is like this. So that shortens the, diff the distance from her neck to where her skull starts. But um, other than that, I've pretty much got a lot of it worked out. So now it's time to work on hands, fishnet, hair, face, all those fun things. And like I've told you guys before, I um, lighten my lines. Once like the scribble is finished, and this is some intense scribbling, <laughs> 
I start to refine my sketches by rolling over it with my kneaded eraser. And I'm, I use the Faber-Castell art eraser. Um, they're my favorite so far and they come in a nice little case. They only cost $1.95 here in Canada, so I'm sure they're even cheaper in the States. Um, so I make it just like a little sausage and I roll it over the art so that I can lighten the lines without completely erasing anything. Then I can go over it and make adjustments. Um, and I'm not confused by the immense amount of mess. <laughs> and I hate mess, even on art. Hey, David. Hey, Mike. How is it going? Do you have any updates or just message me with some and I'll get to them after the stream. I hope everything is going good. And I saw that you got pearls. Why? <laughs> You're such a sweetheart, but oh my God. So for this one, um, I usually try to give uh, the characters that I draw a lot of um, like almond shaped eyes. With this one, just to do something different, I'm gonna try to, to get myself to make her eyes a little bit more round. It is gonna make her look more innocent, but um, I'm not trying to make her look fierce and like screaming with this one. Um, so I will, uh, I will be doing a little bit more of a softer black canary. Um, I did just finish doing a cover with a screaming pose. So um, I don't know, just mostly just to change it up for myself. <laughs> You're amazing, Mike. Oh, so the insurance guy came today. I hope it was good news. Oh God, I really hope it was good news. Hey, okay, Tranquil Mist is Eric. Hello, Eric, with a K. <laughs> How are you? I have my cheat sheet here and I'm going to, with all of your names. So everyone who has told me their name, uh, if it's different from your actual Twitch account, I've been saving a list. So some of them I have memorized, some I don't, and I apologize for that, especially because I know Lots of you on here are here all the time, and it's just, I suck at names, so I'm super sorry. But I do have it open today so that I can double check and make sure I don't screw up anyone's name or call you the wrong thing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for being here. Um, so I am currently getting ready for Fan Expo Canada, which is in Toronto, it's like the big, Toronto Fan Expo show. Um, and I will be there for four days. I leave, um, I think it's Thursday morning, technically. Um, I leave for the airport Wednesday night and the show starts Thursday at around noon or one or something like that. And so I'm taking the red eye to Toronto. <laughs> but I can sleep on planes, thankfully. Um, but anyway, what I'm trying to do is get my commissions that were pre-booked last year and some of them the year before um, for me to do at the show. Now, I do have Arctic Wonder, I love you, that is going to be coming and helping me at the show, which is fantastic. Um, but even so, it's just such a bu busy convention that I don't generally have time to get to very many commissions. So I am trying to get ahead. That being said, this commission is technically one from Niagara Falls Comic Con a few months ago. Face palm. So I, I don't feel right doing any more Toronto ones before I get this one done. <laughs> Kylie is here, hello. It's four for guests. Oh, okay. But then for VIP, I think it's a little earlier, Mike. I have to be like, there was something where I have to be set up by 1 p.m. or something like that. Okay, so now you guys can barely see it. Um, but I will 
start refining the lines a little bit more. And like I said, this is not on my <laughs> drawing cardstock. This is just on some other paper that I have for my sketches. I'm going to move this a little closer. Premium and above admission is 2 p.m. Okay, thank you so much, Devin. That's good to know. <laughs> Tranquil Mist is Eric with a K. Yes. Because <laughs> I just checked, Kylie. I have my cheat sheet open today. Keeman, hello. You know what? I saw someone that had an amazing um, notice on the top of their stream, which I should probably do as well. Right here, Keeman, he tagged me so that my name, um, it's in black. Um, if you have a question, blah, blah, blah. If you have a question specifically for me and I'm kind of doing the art zone out thing, like highlight my name. I think you just do at Don McTagg and it'll put it in a big black bar. Then I'll probably see it a little better. Hello, Fran. Oh man, I am so bad at remembering numbers and names. <laughs> so you've got me beat. <laughs> All right, so um, I do all of my sketches with a really fat pencil. I use a 0 0.9 millimeter um, mechanical pencil. Um, so now I'm just refining them with a 0 0.3. Super booty in 15 minutes? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, Kylie, I don't feel like I got her to play nice. It's just been like pulling teeth, but you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying. <laughs> Let me know if the music is too loud or anything like that.
interesting. Thank you so much, Kylie. And I know that one. Sometimes trying to um, to order stuff with from Canada in the U.S. is a whole thing as well. So yeah, I get that. <laughs> no, I was able to read it. Oh, that's awesome, Art of Blake. Thank you. Anthony is here. Hey. I'm sorry I missed your, your first uh, getting on the stream. Hello. Tell you what, I'm going to use um, a 0 0.5 millimeter and it's a 2B lead, I think. So it's going to be a little, little bit darker so you guys can see it better. All right, see you later, Anthony. I'll be around for a while. <laughs> Salvatore. I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? Now the weirdest thing about like even trying to adjust one's work a tiny bit, it it suddenly looks wrong. <laughs> so it's always like screwing with my head. Whenever I try to do something slightly different, I keep being tempted to like fix it. So I really hope I can keep her eyes looking a little bit more round than I usually do. Um, and usually I'm, I'm trying to make them look a little bit more like there's naughtiness behind the eyes. <laughs> Oh, he's stopping in for a few minutes. Oh, well, thank you so much. Yes, I am gonna be there for um, for Tucson. I'm so excited, woohoo! <laughs> and thank you for checking out my con schedule. That's awesome. And yes, I would definitely having drinks and Arizona, at least the show, any of the times I've gone to Arizona, there's like, um, you guys have the most amazing slushy margaritas. <laughs> They're so good. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be there. Oh, thank you, Kylie. Boy, there is so much freedom in not having my paper taped down. It's fantastic. Okay. Now, I've, I've been asked many times how I work out hair. Um, I personally hate drawing hair. Hey, Gabriel, welcome to the stream, woohoo! 
Um, I find hair to be super annoying to draw, I'm not gonna lie. Um, because you need it to be flowing and moving and, you know, it needs to look organic, but not like too much detail or overly rendered. And like, there's so many things to keep in mind and so many like conflicting rules to deal with slash break. Um, and so what I do is I put in just an immense amount of scribbles. So I don't know if you guys can see all the scribbles in here, but they really, really help for some reason because there's that looseness in your hand that you don't you don't care where the line's going it's just a sketch or a layout or something like that just throw lines around um, and then from that it actually helps to generate a flow of some sort that um, I'll start picking from there which lines I'm going to use. And then maybe there's one lock that I really like and everything around it isn't working. Erase those and make them work or, you know, go slightly against the flow of that main lock that you have. Um, and from there, I kind of just work with it. It's like molding clay when you're working with hair. But starting out with scribbles just like makes all the difference in the world because you're not worried, you're not overthinking, you're just throwing shit around and that really helps with hair, for me anyway. So like I have one here that I really like that's kind of gonna form her bangs. She has, she doesn't really have bangs, but she has what appears to be slightly layered hair, at least in the front. So I'll put some layers in. Her hair isn't curly, it isn't really wavy, it's just got a bit of a blowout look. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna try to emulate that a little bit. And look at pictures of hair too, it's really helpful. Another thing I find incredibly helpful for drawing hair is to look at blowing cloth. Find pictures of dresses and pictures of scarves blowing in the wind. All that stuff, just the way it turns, the way it, the way it moves, that helps so much in setting up how you do hair. Um, I need to see how long her hair is. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, MJ Freitag, yes, they are um, to protect paper, and that's why I wear them. Uh, they're covered in paint Then I tried at the suggestion of someone on my last stream to see if Sharpie marker would fix it. It did not. Um, these ones are just the best. I absolutely love these gloves so much so that I feel naked without them and I don't feel comfortable with my skin touching paper. It's become a little bit of a thing. <laughs> and it is also cold here. <laughs> All right, I'm just checking her hair to see length. Boy, I love the Sideshow um, Black Canary that's made off of an art germ cover. Oh my god, it's so good. Anyway, so I'm kind of going with that as far as the length of her hair. So it's pretty much uh, as long as her jacket, I would say. So that's what this is, is to kind of help me know where to stop with her hair. Um, a lot of the characters that I draw have very long hair and as such it's super easy to just like go back into my usual rut or my habit of drawing really long hair. So I need to put that in as a reminder that no, no, her hair is not past her waist. It's not as long as say, um, what's her name, Witchblade's hair or Sarah Pizzini. You know, I have to just um, know where to cut it. Okay. 
Oh my god, Sideshow has such amazing stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you have, Steve. You've showed me some pictures of your collection and it is quite intense, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I wanna make sure their eyes are on the same level and they are not. Damn it. Sometimes I can fix it without having to completely redo everything. Let's just see how the height of the eyes are doing. Okay, so the height is fine. I just need to make the uh, lower part of her eyes come down a little further which will help with the round look. you were mixed on it I thought that the Aspen statue was just mind-blowing like her face is so unbelievably beautiful I I just lost my mind when I saw it well okay wait they changed her armor color from the time that they showed the the prototype to when they shipped it or they just changed it from Aspen. Oh, it was natural bone in the prototype. But it's always gray in the comic books. Now I'm gonna have to see too. <laughs> yeah, Jason's all fancy with his two screens. <laughs> My husband and son are really into their two screens as well. I, I think it would drive me crazy. screens is so helpful. <laughs> yes, I have been following the whole thing on uh, Brian's whole thing. It's incredible. 44 seconds is just insane. And and now they're like, oh my god, they're um, they're they're like number four or something like that he posted earlier today i need to find the post again but yeah it was something amazing <laughs> brian and francisca deserve all the success they could possibly imagine because they are the coolest nicest people ever i really wanted to buy the the j scott campbell little mermaid one but I know if I were to put it anywhere here, um, Sherlock would destroy it. And the kids, and the tossed balls, and you know, <laughs> the soccer in the house. And I think it's one of those things, I would end up just keeping it in the box. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy all of those things once my kids are older and there are no more like possibilities of things getting completely shattered and destroyed. Though I do have this one and I love her. Oh, um, Nick Ham Hamming went and took one to uh, Jason Momoa and had him sign it already. So I have that here. It was so nice of him. <laughs> Steve might have a problem. That is true. <laughs> yeah, I hear you on that one, MJ. All right. Now this curl was in my sketch. Um, I may remove said curl. I'm still deciding. Yeah, I love the Aspen one. It's so pretty. Are you thinking to go to Fiend Fest, Jason? a quarter of a million today oh my god <laughs> that is so incredible I need to post the actual picture of that soon you have a ticket you just need to make travel plans well having a ticket is uh, you know a big part of it <laughs> hey Juan Solo
Oh, hello, giggles. All right, I have to move just working out where on her bust all of these things are. And having these little lines is incredibly helpful. So I've just put in a couple um, circular lines to show me where um, everything is supposed to be on her chest because it's so easy to, um, to get in the winging it mode and then um, actually place things in the wrong spot. So um, I'm just double checking a lot of these uh, little bits to make sure I don't accidentally put um, her, her bust or the, the top line of her little bathing suit thingy uh, in the wrong place. <laughs> There is her collarbone. Here's her choker. <laughs> Never wing her chest. Ah, oh, no, yes. <laughs> hey, Levi. Oh, thank you, Lee. Sorry, my eraser makes some very strange noises sometimes. Now probably the majority of her, um, her bust is gonna need to be handled with the, um, with the shading and not so much with like straight up lines. Okay, so this is her torso. <laughs> <You're pop> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Just got home, is all well? Yep, all is well. Dan is home from work. Yay! <laughs> and what's so handy is that in her actual outfit there's seaming um all the way down the sides of her um her bathing suit or her suit whatever it is which will help to sh form her body properly which is really handy in things like this where it's all flat black like that and um it just gives me more detailing to work with that'll kind of break up this very large expanse of just you know torso and pelvis bones and all of that stuff Hey, Simone. He can make me some tea. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think. 
think that this is uh, the classic one. Because, yeah, he sent me, the, the guy who's commissioning this sent me a, a pretty old comic book that he wanted me to kind of stick with that outfit. So, yeah, I'm doing the, like, bathing suit, little ja crop jacket, and, well, you know, I'm calling it a bathing suit just because that's essentially what it looks like. Um, and then the fishnet stockings, which are going to be exciting. <laughs> uh sarcastically to work on. So we're kind of really, for the most part, seeing like a very interesting side butt. <laughs> so I actually looked at some pictures of like, trying to find girls where you're only seeing like a little tiny bit of the side of their butt. Cause like technically, you know, this is the side of the leg, but you would see a little bit of butt poking out and where to put that and where it should end is is always such an interesting thing like what do you wear exactly and you know bubble butt is good but then sometimes it's so easy to draw you know a bubble butt that doesn't quite fit with the rest of their body like it's just ridiculously too much of a bubble butt anyway it's always that that trying to get the uh, the perfect mix with the body <laughs> I'm actually going to rotate that a little bit so it's more in line with the pelvis bone. <laughs> they aren't, but that's why comic characters are so fun to work on because you can you can go a bit unrealistic, which I love about comic art. Oh, okay. See you later, Jason. Please drive home safely. Oh, William is here. Hello, and Rogerio. You're waiting to see me do this, the stockings, Gabriel? Yeah, <laughs> I'm stalling on doing the stockings. But yes, that is almost one of the next things to work on. You just need to make sure that her thighs are about the right length. Yeah, her knee would be probably right about right down there. Hmm. Okay, let's see, where would I put her knee? Probably right about here. I'm gonna pull the thigh out just a little bit further here. I did in uh, I, that um, Danger Girl piece that I drew. Uh, if you scroll back on my uh, Facebook page, you'd probably see it best there. I think I drew it and posted it, I don't know, sometime in May. If you can't find it, I can send you a copy. And I did a, um, a foreshortened arm. Oh, 
what did you have to put a warning about, Juan? Ooh, okay, I got your email, Lee. Oh, and a couple more people have followed me on Twitch. Thank you all so much for the follows. Yeah, I'm trying, Kylie, I'm trying to think of what other ones I've done for shortened arms. I'm sure there's more. I just, um, I kind of tend to forget what it is I've drawn. <laughs> Sometimes I'll like work on a piece and then get tagged in it later. And I'm like, when on earth did I draw this? <laughs> like, I don't even remember. Hey, Tyler. Yeah, guys, okay, I am taking a look at the email Lee just forwarded me. That is so sweet. A quarter of a million. Dang! Good for them. So happy. Um, I haven't worked out what exactly I'm going to do for Tucson, um, Freytag. I, I don't really know. I'll definitely write around and let everyone on my email list know. Are you, I can imagine you're on my email list, um, as that's the best place to be informed. Um, and it's kind of the only spot where I'm accepting commissions. So, uh... Definitely just keep an eye out for there. Right now I'm just trying to get through um, the September commission. So the next email I'm gonna send out about commissions is gonna be for um, Baltimore. And then I'll start working on uh, Vancouver and um, Tucson. And then those are the end, the, the last shows of, of the year for me. <laughs> Yeah, busy, busy. And thank you for being on my email list. All right, I'm just checking to see on the comic book that he sent me that's kind of the outfit he specifically wants. I'm just checking to see if her jacket is rolled up. Boy, that's really hard to tell if it's rolled up or not. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I just want to make sure her sleeves are rolled up. Oh, that means so much. Thank you for liking the emails. Like literally last week I was working on writing it and just being like, oh my God, does anybody even want to read these? Am I bugging everyone with sending these out? So thank you so much. It actually means a lot to me that you, you don't mind reading them. But again, I don't expect anyone to read all of them all the time. I struggle with writing so much. So I kind of just pretend like I'm talking on the phone with someone and then you just get like the longest email ever. <laughs> and it takes me like the same amount of time to try to edit it and, and like cut down the amount of stuff I say because it's just too freaking long and boring. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dan is here. Yay. Oh, thank you, Lee. You guys, that means so much. Thank you.
Thank you, Philip. <laughs> it means a ton, you guys. All of you, thank you so much for saying that. Truly. Thank you so much, Planet Chaos Art, for following me. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can tell you what my guide image is. It is Black Canary Issue 1, <laughs> called New Wings. Um, I'm trying to see which day, I don't think there's a release date on this, let me see if I can zoom in. He just sent me a, uh, image. Uh, November 1991. So that's the one that I have here, I'm trying to see who drew it. Right now I'm not finding a signature at all. There's a G there and I don't recognize it. Anyway, um, yes. So it is from 1991 and it says issue one. Oh, and there's actually something on her choker. Okay, and it's a rounded, it's a rounded color on this one. I'm glad I checked that. <laughs> okay, well, tell, it's all my fault, I know. <laughs> well, please tell your wife I'm sorry. Thank you, Planet Chaos Art. No, no buyers on the dude pearls yet. <laughs> But I'm fine. It, it was literally just so that I stopped getting getting shit for not drawing dudes. It's like, see, see, it's even on pearl paper. I need to fix something with this shoulder. There is an issue. I will fix the issue. Hey, Louie. I was, I was truly way overexcited about the pearl paper. I just wanted to put everything on the pearl paper. <laughs> I went a little nuts, I'm not gonna lie everybody. And then I don't know if we're even gonna run pearl paper with Magu, cause I, we got them printed and they are, I'll show you guys. We got them printed and they, the thing is that the, no Magu Pearls, that's right. We're not doing Magu Pearls because it, the ink covers up all the, the pretty paper. So you need to have some parts that don't have ink on them. Otherwise, honestly, it's just a normal print. Um, and there's not really much to it. So we're not gonna do um, Magu as pearls. Oh, hello, Fez 
Master Phasma Star. Yeah, you need some raw paper in order for you to actually get the paper effect. We do have Magu 11 by 17s and yeah, they're they're so much better just printed normal. It's also the watercolor is is better on the normal paper. It's never just to print. <laughs> Goals! Hey, Sir Bat Dan, how's it going? I really loved your Instagram posts where you had the batarangs and the wedding ring and the books. That was so cool. Thank you for tagging me in that. I'm sorry about my weird, noisy eraser, everyone. Notice that, Sir Bat Dan. That was so awesome of you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here's issue four, so you can see a fully extended arm. Oh, okay, thank you, Devin. All right, so it's sort of yeah, you're right. It's like three quarter sleeve. And okay, her gloves are full fingered. All right, thank you so much, Devin. That is incredibly helpful. Because once everything starts to change with like, you know, even between artists, the outfits start to change. And he specifically requested this particular outfit. And yeah, it's exactly the same. I, it must be the same artist um, that did this one. So thank you, Devin, that's incredibly helpful. <laughs> Yeah, when Dan's like, print them all, <laughs> he's weak. Dan is not weak. There is like no Don fits that change his mind. <laughs> yeah, Louie, I'm super sorry, everybody that's waiting on me. I am slowly digging myself out from under my email situation. Um, I have email messages, Facebook messages. I just realized I have like tons of Instagram messages I didn't even know I had. Uh, so yeah, I'm slowly trying to dig out. No, oh, thank you, Kylie. All right, so I kind of want her, her palms out, you know, like in fists. So she's like in a power pose, but kind of outward. Um, so I'm gonna actually change this arm to uh, palms up. God, I hate that sound. Oh, Anthony's back, whoop, whoop. Oh, it's totally fine, uh, Kylie. I just need to, um, 
I just need to catch up. Devin, sure, if you want to, but um, this is plenty. Like, what you've sent me is incredible. And thank you so much for highlighting my name so I know to, to look at that one. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Ink Splat. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't have... I need to figure out how to get that thing where it features your name and does a big song and dance when people follow. But I do have my email right here that notifies me. So I want to call people out when they, when they follow me on Twitch here because I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't have any Lady Death prints right now. Um, all I have, and I'll show you guys, if Jason, oh no, Jason isn't here yet. I'll wait until Jason is back to show you guys this. <laughs> uh, yeah, it sounds like a Dan job. <laughs> Dan is the one that organizes all of these things. I am useless. And um, I'm so grateful for Dan. Like literally, I would not be doing any of this without Dan. <laughs> hey, Hans is here. Hello, hello. Oh, Streamlabs. Okay, thank you, Sir Bat Dan. Another Dan being incredibly helpful. Oh, thank you for the host, Louie. I'm writing that down, Streamlabs. All right, we were standing like this. I'm putting my hands to the side and just trying to like see what kind of gesture would be the most comfortable. So she did have a little bit of more of a curl to her hair in here, whereas um, some of the more recent ones, her hair is not as curly. Oh, and her flip goes the other way. Oh, well. got pretty big hair, which is fun to draw. And it's not leather, it's more like a suit jacket. That's interesting. Because 
it's more like a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's more like a little teeny crop jacket now. Um, almost more like a bolero, I think they're called, um, on the new black, um, black canary piece. Um, but it looks like the one that he's requested that I do is quite a bit more like a full coverage mini suit coat kind of thing. So I need to put a little bit more coverage here. certain allowance with Lady Death Prince that I'm um, given permission to um, print. So um, I have already printed and sold all of my Lady Death Prints so far and I have to wait until my new ones come out before I have more. <laughs> Thank you, Louie. Oh, see you later, Eric. Have a good one. <laughs> I need a bigger allotment. Okay, I'm going to start working on the fishnet. So I do have, I don't have any fishnet in the pose that I'm doing right now, but I am looking at pictures of fishnet. None of them are perfect at all, but it does help to look at pictures of just legs with fishnet stockings on because, you know, the, the way that they go they twist and they get smaller around the the knees and you know places where the body itself is smaller um right obviously where it's being stretched and not stretched so it is super handy to have um some reference to look at 
Regrettably, none of it is the exact pose, so none of it is quite gonna work for me, but at least it's something. Yay, fishnet time. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank you, Dan. All right. So um, I like to do, I don't like to do fishnet stockings basically looking like a check, checkered pants, for instance, um, or plaid or anything like that. I try to do the, the lines coming from a different direction and kind of rotating over the body like this. And then they have to really, really turn when they're going around the corner. All right, so this is going to be frustrating and difficult and I'm probably gonna erase it numerous times, but we're gonna get started. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with my thinner pencil just so that if I need to, I can erase and add more later. <laughs> oh my God, Dan. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay, so right here is technically still part of like the front of her pelvis. So I've got them going rounded right here because we're going over her hip. But then here I'm going to start turning it and making them a little bit straighter and straightening out the whole situation so that it starts to actually go the other way. Yeah, and then, so like on this picture that I'm looking at, it starts to almost form an S curve. So I'm gonna try it. Sometimes I find it's better to just not even use the reference that I was looking at, uh, cause what looks good on a photograph doesn't necessarily look right um, when you draw it. So now that we're getting a little bit um, further down on her leg, I'm making them closer together because of course the fishnet is not being nearly as pulled apart down at the bottom as it is at the top. Oh yeah, it's true, it is kind of similar. Oh, it's fine, I already have this. Thank you guys.
So I'm widening them out and then narrowing them out again. See you later, Hans. Oh, have fun watching that. It's so good. Oh, hey, Payback. Okay, and then trick number one <laughs> after you do this is erase some of it. Uh, a fully complete leg with fishnet, in my opinion, is too much. Um, it just, it's very distracting. It, uh, it's too much information. So what I do is wherever the lighting is, which generally I kind of have it going down the, the front somewhat, is to just erase some of it because otherwise it's just well it's overkill so you do something like that and then you make the lines at the edges a little bit thicker Oh, for sure, Keeman. <laughs> it makes you want cheese cubes. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, you will, Kylie. The problem is, is you're 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 gonna wake up one day and you know <laughs> maybe you're gonna be like me, where it's like you feel just as like struggling in your work as you did when you first started, <laughs> and that sucks. Wayne, hello! <laughs> How are you doing? wake up one day and have a flood of emails. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Ooh. 
but also I'm I'm a real procrastinator if it's like a you know a question that I feel I need to think about or you know I want to answer properly I really struggle with writing so I don't really think that everybody would struggle with email the way I do I'm just uh, you know nervous shy slightly <laughs> paranoid and have a hard time with with writing stuff, doing Facebook posts, all of that is my nemesis. <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. I'm just getting ready for Fan Expo. Woohoo! Can't wait to see you next week. Because there is no outfit <laughs> on wish list. <laughs> So at least in the um, in the outfit version that I've been asked to to do for this particular sketch, she does actually have big um, curls, like really big ones. Think like '70s Barbie, big curls. So I am um, I actually have a little bit more freedom to do that. Whoop whoop. Oh, I completely forgot to work on her other <laughs> fishnet stocking. <laughs> Okay, so one fishnet stocking is done. Another little trick that you can do to make fishnets kind of look a little bit more like fishnet is because they actually have a spot where they interlink. So each one loops around the other and it creates like a little dot. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that you put it on all of them, but you can put a little connecting dot in a couple places, um, which also helps to make them look more like fishnet. And then if you want to really go for it, they don't go to a perfect diamond point at the end of all of them. They're kind of, think like a chicken wire fence, you know, or any kind of wired fencing. They loop together and then turn and loop and turn, right? So there's a little spot where they loop and it's not a perfect diamond shape. So if you really want to go crazy and you're just a sucker for aggressive artistic punishment, you can go that far and actually get into the way that they loop. <laughs> oh, Mike is back. Oh my God, that sounds amazing, Wayne. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm at P122 and I'll post it on my Facebook page, on my Instagram, maybe I'll even send out an email so everybody knows where to find me because it's a massive building. Um, if any of you came and met me last year, I'm in the same spot. me answer. I'm sorry, Dan. I completely didn't uh, notice this. Um, I'd say if I wanted anything statuized, I still need to finish drawing it, but I would very much like to see my rendition of Medusa made into a statue. That would be boss AF. Okay. The other stocking. So you guys did send me. No, actually I have. Yeah, something easy. That's right. <laughs> hey, Jeff. How's it going? Oh, thank you so much for the host.
Thank you for the follow, Rich Susan. I really appreciate it. Hello, A4. <laughs> Did I want you to pre-slice the coffee cake? <laughs> uh, whatever is easiest for you, Wayne. Uh, I can't imagine having to carry a cake, so please don't feel that you need to do that. Like, literally stuff it in a, a little Ziploc bag and I'll be super happy. <laughs> Okay, so because of how turned her leg is, I want to make sure that I get this right. So this side might take, take a few more tries. This side is literally your standard leg. It's super easy to do. This side, because of the way that it's bent, uh, sometimes it doesn't quite look right. So I might need to work at it a couple times. Yeah, fishnets are a whole thing. <laughs> Hey, Will. I'm glad you could make it to the stream. Oh, sorry, I was off screen. I'll see you later, hun. Short water break, then back to more fishnet. Woot woot. Uh, no, this is the um, early 90s version of Black Canary. It's very close to how it is now. I just need to make her jacket. Um, her jacket's a little bit looser than it is in the uh, like sideshow collectibles amazing statue based off of um, art germs art. Oh my God, it's such a good statue. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's pretty much the same. And I've got one knee up because he specifically requested that outfit. Um, and I want to make sure that I have the correct boot for her. 
Oh, thank you, Hydro. Just working from here first to make sure it looks right. Oh, is Jason back? Aha! He's here! Okay, I can show you guys. This is like an intense sneak peek, so shh. But these ones are the prints for Jason because he is getting the original and I got permission to do a one of one. It says on it, original owner copy. So it's only for the original owner right now. But here is your print. Little sneak peek. <laughs> so this is the colored print for Jason and I'll be shipping it out to you tomorrow, hopefully, or on Saturday. So here's your print, it turned out amazing. And yes, I did have permission for these. They are a free gift for the original owner. So this belongs to Jason, he will be getting this. Um, and I got permission to, to send him one. And then here we go, a quick one. Two second look, this is the alternate version. And we'll just do that. <laughs> so anyway, I will be sending these to Jason. Um, hopefully this this weekend. Thank you for getting back to me today with the email. All I need to do is just a quick uh, black, add a little bit more blacking onto it and then uh, we'll discuss the lipstick question. <laughs> yep, those are for you and they say right on them, it is actually printed on the print. It says original owner copy. So it is a one of one for you. <laughs> Woohoo! And Brian was so awesome to give me permission to do that. Um, so it says it's printed DM for Don McTagg on one side. It has the Lady Death, um, it has the Lady Death uh, copyright really small at the bottom. And then on the other side, it says original owner copy. <laughs> so that is actually printed on the piece. Whoop whoop. <laughs> so fun. And um, if anybody likes that piece and would like to get it, it is part of the Lady Death Kickstarter that's going on right now. So definitely go support the whole Coffin Comic crew and Lady Death. And um, the alternate version is still, I don't know when that one's coming out, so it's not out yet. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, it's Brian that gave permission for me to do that for, for you, so. Go, Brian. I went too small. Told you guys this was probably gonna happen. You already pledged, thank you so much, Payback. Oh, that's awesome, Jason. Thank you. 
Oh, hi, Life is Destiny. I don't know if I've seen you here before. Welcome to the stream and thank you for being here. All right, so I screwed up here, you guys. This is the not fun part of fishnets. All right, so trying again here because her thigh is going like this, right? So maybe these rings will help me remember which way. So like with the fishnets, you want them to show the shape of the body as well, right? So that they are not conflicting, but then they're also being pulled by different parts of the body. So it's so interesting and exciting and slightly irritating uh, with how fishnets are. <laughs> Oh, hello, the frying pan. Welcome. There's a not fun, yeah, drawing them. All right, so they would be smaller right in here. They'd be going like this. And I think it's not that I had the other side super wrong per se. I think they just, um, I needed to have them a little further apart and a little bit more, I think a little bit more rotated in that direction. Yeah, I pretty much just had to do one every other, um, every other line that I drew. Okay, and then I usually do the same thing and erase where it would be catching the light just because otherwise, in my opinion, it's too busy and there's just too much going on. You see that I'm going for a relaxed look today? <laughs> what, like me personally? <laughs> All 
I've noticed just from the Twitch streams that I fidget with my hair a lot. So I hope it doesn't get like extremely irritating for people. It's just, it seems to be a little fidget thing I do. I had a feeling I'd, I'd notice things that, um, weird habits that I have just because, <laughs> just by the sheer amount of time <laughs> I'm being filmed that I'm not used to. So yeah, I apologize that I'm a real, um, ponytail fidgeter. So she has these awesome seams going up both sides of her um, of her bathing suit thingy, um, which is going to be extremely handy uh, as I work through and color all of that. It's going to be so great to have those little seam lines. It'll just help to um, to indicate, you know, the movement of her body, um, and then these these portions like right here it's kind of it's following the pelvis bone it'll it's following the center line all of those things uh really add to um making the body look good underneath a big one piece black suit right <laughs> Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Life is Destiny and Hydro Evolutions. Thank you so much for following me. If you're still on here, I really appreciate it. Yeah, I, I understood what you mean. You meant payback. Thank you. And I appreciate that understanding. All right, so all I need to do now is just finish up the... Um, finish up the jacket and I need to make that a little bit looser looking um, and then I'm finished and I will work on transferring it to board so that's literally just taking a light box and tracing my lines onto the thicker cardstock paper that I'm going to use for the actual commission so this is on just loose sketch paper um, and then I basically light box it onto a thicker piece of cardstock that I will then final pencil, clean up my mess, um, and then ink it and color it. And so my goal is to, on the Sunday stream, do all the coloring of this. So uh, the inking I hope to be done with uh, tomorrow, <laughs> fingers crossed. I have like 80 million things I'm trying to do tomorrow. Uh, get my kids, one of my kids needs glasses, uh, more back to school shopping, get ready for Toronto Expo, all this stuff all in one, um, one shot, but I'm gonna try to get this ink tomorrow and then do the coloring on my Sunday stream. Woo! Oh, uh, Hydro, you know what, I, I feel the same with my art, it, 
it's just because you're used to, um, that's how it looks right to you, you know? And to change the face, it makes it look almost wrong, just like subconsciously it feels wrong. Like this time I'm kind of trying to change the face shape a little bit. Um, as far as recommendations, look at other styles of art and also look at photographs, you know, decide that today I'm going to draw, you know, uh, a character like uh, from Lord of the Rings or something and draw, draw a, um, an orc. <laughs> It'll pull you out of that um, mode of always drawing a, the face the way that you do and just give yourself little challenges. Um, for me, that's what I'm trying to do is give myself mini challenges, even if it's on a piece that uh, is a cover that I'm working on or something. You can always infuse a challenge for yourself in everything you're doing and that really really helps. Um, payback, I usually have a pose in mind. Um, this time the pose that I had in mind, every time I tried it, it just didn't look good. It wasn't working. And so um, then you have to try something else. Um, but yes, for the most part, I will stop and think and I'll have an idea. And sometimes I find that I try to rush too fast into the drawing without really sitting down and, and thinking it through, thinking about what I'm trying to say in the art and what is, or with a cover, what is the publisher trying to accomplish with this cover and how can I best accomplish said task, you know? Um, and sometimes I'm in such a hurry to get going that I'll, uh, I'll skip some of those steps and it's really important to slow down and really think about it or you'll start spinning your wheels, which is what I did on this one. I tried to get to the drawing too fast um, and I just didn't really think it through completely and that caused me problems later because after struggling on layout after layout after layout, I'm like, what am I trying to accomplish here? Is it even something that can be accomplished with this particular character? And bearing in mind the things that were requested by the person who commissioned it, you know? And so, yes, the character 100% influences the pose. Very much so. That's why Harley's so fun and easy to draw because pretty much any pose is appropriate for Harley. You can have her hanging upside down from, from a balcony with, uh, you know, a string of sheets or you, it would be perfectly appropriate for her to be swinging with uh, Catwoman's whip because she stole it. I mean, like literally with Harley, you can do whatever. And for the most part, yeah, I can see her doing that, you know, within reason. I'm not talking about anything like inappropriate or bad. I'm just talking about, you know, a crazy comic book related idea from that universe, yeah, it could probably work. Harley could totally be like running off with Batman's cape or his cowl or whatever, you know, and that's what makes it really fun and easy to draw Harley. Yes, that is true. It does almost become part of your, your uh, signature, is it's your style. <laughs> yeah, exactly, and that's perfectly appropriate. It always just, but if you were to draw that with, say, Wonder Woman, it wouldn't seem appropriate. Wonder Woman is, is a very different personality, and as such, you have to almost think about the character's personality. If you don't know that character's personality very well, go study her, uh, read up about them, and then you can, um, and then you can determine what is appropriate for that character. <laughs> exactly, Harley put that can opener down. <laughs> it all works. 
So I am going to be giving her big, fun curls. Woo! Like, um, like, you know, uh, what's it, what's it called? You know, old Hollywood curls. I'm sure old Hollywood isn't the right way to say it, but you guys know what I mean. Okay, so now it's hand time. So I had made her um, forearm a little bit too long, so I'm shortening it a little bit. The forearm is here. Uh, this is the bicep muscle, this is the shoulder muscle. So you just wanna know where those muscles are because it'll tell you where to put the, um, it'll tell you where to put the, the folds in the cloth because the folds in the cloth follow and are pulled in ways depending on where the body bends, you know? So of course, my elbow right here, it, it's bending and that's where there's a fold in the cloth. Or here, you know, that goes to, from your, you, the joint in your chest all the way into the muscle and the shoulder muscle. Um, and those are where the cloth gathers and bunches. So it's really helpful to have just so a basic block of the muscles put in. And then here, I'm gonna put her fist. Okay, now I don't want the hand um, down. I want it bent and pointing towards us. Oh, thank you so much, uh, GN1. Oh, Night Road, I think is what it is. Thank you for the follow. And Jack the Avenger. <laughs> when words are all put together, it takes me a second, but thank you so much for following me, you guys. Oops, wrong one. All right, so this is where her belly button is. And that is where the bend in her elbow is. It's kind of your, it's in line with your belly button is this bend in your elbow right here. So I've got her bend right there. And then on this side, if I do put the arm here, I'm still deciding where exactly I'm gonna put the arm, but if it is, then the bend would be there as well. And I'm just wanting a nice power arm pose. And as such, I think that the hand would be turning towards us a little bit. So that's why I'm turning it like this. All right, and then her knuckles are basically facing us this way and then bending in like so. And then her thumb is facing us like this. So we're seeing the top of her thumb right now. So that's the top of her thumb and then this whole thumb bit <laughs> it's like the like, it almost looks like a chicken leg right here. And so that goes right there and kind of merges in with this side of the palm of her hand. And then her knuckles are like so. And that, you know, it, your knuckles kind of round. If you see this, it's rounding and I've got real skinny gnarly fingers so you can really see everything <laughs> anyway but you see it almost serves it forms a curve at the top um so yeah <laughs> so that curve is right there it also forms a curve right there and to clarify that disaster drawing um i'm gonna roll my um I'm gonna roll over my pencil line. So 
What I do is I just make a little sausage and I roll over it so that I can still see the lines, but they're not, so they're not completely erased. But I just hate, you know, putting one sketch line over six other sketch lines and it just turns into a confusing mess. So, um, that's the jacket. And then here is her palm. One knuckle. Pinky would be kind of smaller right there. Here's her thumb. Now her hands are going to be fully in gloves, so I'm not really working, worrying about, you know, nails or um, anything like that. Also, because her finger is in a glove, it would be more of a flat tip, not, you know, a really nice, long, pretty manicured nail or anything like that because the gloves have a seam on the edge. So, and then we'd see, you know, little pulls in the cloth. And then her gloves in this version are full finger gloves and they kind of are a little bit long and bunched up. Like so. <laughs> okay, and then, yeah, Devin, I'm sorry that I missed answering that, I think. Um, yes, I will be putting in the other arm right now, and then I'm done, and I will work on the uh, transfer off of stream um, because I'm going to go have dinner soon, but I will finish this first. Um, and then I think there's missing... Oh, thank you, Payback. I just saw what you said about how it seems I have the right pose for the subject. Oh my god, thank you. That means so very much. I heart you and I really appreciate that. You know, it's it's the constant uh, striving and it's literally going to be one of those things I'm never going to feel like I completely conquered. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm boss at getting the right pose. <laughs> the pose is the hardest and the biggest deal in any drawing. But thank you so much, that really made my day. Oh, Fridge Magnet 101, thank you for following me here on Twitch, I appreciate it. Snailed it. <laughs> okay, so last arm right here. So I kept trying to fix the shoulder. Something about the placement of her neck on her shoulders, it was bothering me, but I worked it out now. Um, and then we are seeing her at a slight angle, right? We're not straight on, which means that I'm going to go up a little bit more because this arm is going to be further in the back, so the bend is going to be a little bit higher up as compared to her, the illusion of her belly button right here. Hey, Kevin! So I've kind of gone back and forth. I don't really want her hand up. I, <laughs> what, <laughs> sound is so ridiculous. What I would really like is to just have both arms in an even stance. And so she's kind of just like in this badass power pose. As such, just gonna, Technically, we wouldn't even see the bend in her elbow. It's going to be back behind her. So I'm going to draw through here. This is the back side of her shoulder. This is where her arm would be because it's back. Her chest is forward and her hands are back. Oh, you're welcome, Kevin. <laughs> and 
And so then the bend in the elbow would be kind of right back here. And then this is her forearm. Welcome to the stream, Symbiote. No, the domino piece is not, uh, it's not available in print anymore, I'm sorry. I discontinued it ages ago. <laughs> oh, it's going great, how are you doing? And thanks for joining the stream for a few minutes. I'm gonna be uh, heading out shortly because it's dinner time here, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this, I'll get this ready so that on Sunday, for anyone who's available, I'll, um, I'll be streaming the finishing of this one and the coloring. So that's gonna be fun. And what I usually do, so if you guys see that I've changed things, like if I change things from here um, in the final pencils or in the, um, the inks, I step away from the piece as much as possible. I try to give it a few hours or like sleep on it kind of thing where I leave it um, for a little while and just observe and pick on it and criticize like criticize it in a constructive way as best as I can to kind of like you notice things once you've had a minute to step away and do something else so um, that is so valuable for me honestly if I could just hang on to work that I do professionally for an extra day um, I'll notice mistakes then so excuse me sometimes I'll actually do that I'll try to like be a day early, but don't send it in. Wait, 
and just look at it and critique it and see if there's anything I missed because it's so easy to miss stuff. So you guys will probably, maybe you won't notice it, but if you do in any commission pieces or any work that I do with you on here, if it's different the next time, it's because I thought better of some decision I made on here. <laughs> you know, and you notice stuff. Uh, yes, I'm gonna be Copicking this piece. Oh, interesting when Dino was wearing a blonde wig. So this is how I set up a hand and it makes it so easy. It's pretty much just, you know, a rectangle-ish thing coming out from the arm. And then you just put an extra little circle right there for the this part of the thumb. And then a little rectangle for the actual front of your thumb. And then this is how the hands go. There's the knuckles, the fingers, and then the part of the glove right here. And you do it rounded to whatever perspective it is you're trying to accomplish and boom. Oh, I totally understand, Hydro. I do post all of my finished commissions on my Instagram page, on my Twitter, and on my Facebook page. So um, the links are right here on my main page, and please feel free to like follow me on there, and then you'll be able to see the, the final piece at least once it's done. All right. So now I'm just going to, real quick, fix this up. Now, so this arm is shorter and behind. The one thing is that it looks like the arm is coming more forward because I have her jacket that technically we would see here. So it makes it a little bit more tricky. So her arm is back there but then her jacket comes here. So I'll just need to make some decisions on which is more important to have there. So here's the glove. Just making the hand a tiny bit smaller because it's further away from us than that one so we wouldn't see as much of the hand. Now her gloves are kind of all bunched up down here. So that's done. And yay! Commission is done for now. Whoop whoop! Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. For <laughs> I made them. Well, I will show you more and more how I draw hands. And literally, it's just once you break them up into the pieces and you know how to do that, hands are very, very easy to draw. Um, so I will show you as much as I can, whatever I've learned, and then just practice. Practice breaking them up into the blocks, like, you know, into the knuckles and, you know, treat this like a rectangle and set them in like rectangles stuck to a rectangle. <laughs> like if you know how to play with Lego, uh, you, can, you can work with hands easily. 
Anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna head out for now. Um, and I will be back in touch with you guys on Sunday afternoon to hopefully, fingers crossed, color this piece up. So I would like to have it finished and ready for color by the weekend on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> then add foreshortening in their heart again, okay. Uh, thank you, Noctuvia, Noctuvita, all right. Uh, thank you, Mike. I'm so glad that you're gonna be getting your stuff soon, Jason. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you, Gabriel, for being here. Hello, Zorin91. Thank you for stopping in on my stream. To everybody who um, subscribed, not subscribed, followed me here on Twitch, I appreciate it. I am definitely trying to work on growing my Twitch stream. <laughs> Newbie problems. Anyway, you guys are amazing. I love you all a ton. And thank you so much for being here. And have a fantastic Saturday. I will see you on Sunday. Love you all bunches. <laughs> Bye.